While I could go on about the math behind creating a strong password, I'll skip that and cut to the chase. For a password to be strong, it should have an increased length and have an increased complexity. That is, have as many different character types as possible, upper and lower case alphabets, numerals and special characters. Alternatively, you could choose to create passphrases. Passphrases are a collection of random dictionary words clubbed together. While you could pepper your passphrases with numerals or capital letters, they could do without them too. The strength depends on the number of words. The idea behind password hygiene is to eliminate a single point of failure. Now you do not want all of your online accounts to be associated with just one password. Even if one of those accounts were to be breached, all your other online accounts associated with that password are at risk. The convenience of having just a password or two protecting all your online accounts is just not worth the risk. Use unique and strong passwords for every online account you create. Let's not forget, many of us have numerous online accounts. And numerous online accounts also means as many number of unique passwords at your disposal. But how would you remember all of them? This is precisely why web users resort to reusing passwords. Not only is it important to create a safe and secure password for every random account you create online, but you also have an imperative to store them. Since it's impossible to remember all of them and store them safely, lest some bad guy gets access to all your data. So the paranoid person that I was, I wrote every one of them in a diary maintained solely for online accounts. Though secure, this can be rudimentary and bloody frustrating. I would make mistakes when manually typing the lengthy password. I could not copy and paste my passwords. And let's be honest, it's difficult to consistently create unique passwords. As humans, we tend to repeat certain patterns. There would be times when I would have the same set of alphabets, special characters or numbers, making each password less unique. And this frustration could make you resort to your old ways of reusing passwords. So given all the jargon I just discussed, let's just say password managers are the way to go. A password manager is an application that stores all your passwords for you, so you don't have to worry about remembering them. The best part, you could also make it generate strong passwords or passphrases for every website or application you register to and store them for you. A password manager stores all your passwords in a secure vault that can be opened only with a master password. So write your master password in a diary or notebook and keep it somewhere safe. Now this brilliant piece of software offers you convenience and security. You could copy and paste your credentials on the sign-in fields of a website. Some password managers also give you the option of auto-filling your credentials. You have to remember just one password the master password to your password manager vault. A good password manager encrypts and securely stores your data on its servers. And a password manager could also effectively mitigate phishing attacks. Apart from generating and storing your credentials, it also saves the URL of each corresponding website. So in case you fail to recognize a fake website with a fake URL, trying to fish for your credentials, your password manager has got your back. It just would not fill your credentials in the login form. So I see many people distrust password managers they are paranoid about storing all their passwords in one basket. Well, think about this. I used to write all my passwords in a diary previously. What if someone got hold of it? Maybe you are typing all your passwords and storing them as a document in plain text on your device. What if someone got hold of your device? Or what if malware sniffed all your data from your device? Maybe you are storing your passwords in Google Drive. What if your Google account was compromised? Or maybe you have everything in your head. Then rest assured your passwords are not unique and secure enough. And it is a matter of time until something bad happened. You have to store your passwords somewhere. The perception of a password manager being unsafe mainly stems from the fact that people are uninformed with regards to how it works. So how safe is a password manager? A secure password manager does not store your master password on its servers. It would be a zero-knowledge solution. Lose your master password and there is no way of resetting it. Assuming its servers are hacked, your password manager nevertheless cannot be known to bad actors. A good password manager service encrypts your data on the client. Now this means the password manager encrypts your data on your device itself before sending it to the server for storage. The only way your data can be decrypted is with your master password. There is no way bad guys are getting hold of your passwords even if there is a breach. Good password managers have the option to activate two-factor authentication for additional account protection. And a security focused password manager would have a regular security audits and besides may also have a bug bounty program in place to keep its service secure. Now I am a big fan of Bit Warden, and I've done my research too. It's a great service. It fulfills all the criteria that I just mentioned. You could learn more about how Bitwarden keeps your data safe in its security FAQ section. They also have a security white paper where you could learn in depth about how encryption and security works at Bitwarden. 
Okay, if you still feel insecure about using a password manager or find it difficult to use one, I would recommend using an online password generator like Bitwardens. Now, rather than generating passwords, I would suggest generating passphrases since they are more readable and write them down in your password diary. And I think this is a good option provided you keep your diary safe and sound.